The Orion 4180, consisting of a computer, monitor, IMS 5000 software, and Orion 4180 XYZ motion assembly. The Orion 4180 motion assembly is equipped with a tooling plate and also a roller assembly to manage the inkjet umbilical hose. To access the IMS 5000 software, the user will click on the IMS 5000 icon located on the desktop. Upon activating the IMS 5000 icon, the Orion 4180 XYZ motion assembly will automatically initialize all three axes and put the marker in a ready state. The marker is now ready for the user to input their login name and password. This application has a front-end input window where the operator can use the barcode scanner to automatically input the file name, starting serial number, and lot number. We're going to get it out of this particular window and go straight to the IMS 5000 window. Here you see the programs are actually listed. On this side here, the right side, all the programs that are currently on this particular system are listed. Let's run the BANCAL, which is a calibration program used to make sure that the inkjet head is straight. We find BANCAL, we double click it, it says run, we say OK, and then the screen comes up, which is the run screen. By pressing F12, the system will automatically print. The head comes down, the Y moves into position, and the X proceeds to print. Upon completion, the head moves up, and the Y stage moves to the predefined start position. Using a white calibration card, let's repeat the BANCAL marking operation so we can see what the output looks like. I will position the card against the corner stop. I will press the F12 key. The marker will mark, and then I'll pick up the card and move it so we can see what was printed. Now that we've printed BANCAL, Let's go back to the program's directory and let's print the font 
test program. The font test program is a program provided with all systems whereby we can check the print quality of the internal, internal fonts of the printer provided. We move down to font test. We double click. We say yes we want to run which is okay. The IMS 5000 run screen is shown. Let's put down a white card. Press the F12 start key. And the motion assembly will begin to print each of the predefined fonts. By printing all these fonts, we can tell that the inkjet printer is calibrated and ready to print whatever production job you have ready. So how do we make a program? Let's get out of the font test program. File. Quit. And let's go up to File. New program. Now here, this is the IMS 5000 editor. When you're in the editor, you can actually create a program. I am going to close this editor and open up an existing program so you can see where the marks are located and how we made a program. I'm going to go to File, Quit, and now I'm going to open up the font test program. I highlight it, file, open. OK. Now here you'll see in the header section, it's the information about what it is that we want to print. Then we have a variable section where we can define our variables. And down on the bottom we have all of the marks. You can have as many marks, images, barcodes that you need to meet your production requirements. Let's show the versatility of the IMS 5000 inkjet marking application software. Let's go back to that 1634 file. This time let's highlight it, but let's go file open. Say OK. What this will do is it opens up the IMS 5000 editor. I want us to pay attention that right now we're using the stage fixture. That's the fixture with the one corner bracket. Let's say File, Test. We'll go ahead and we'll put a piece of paper down. and we'll press the F12 key. Let's take a look at the mark. But now the engineer has come out with a new multi-part fixture. It can accommodate up to six parts. The, the engineer has created a new fixture file. So what we want to do is we want to quit out of the test file, get back to the editor, select fixture, and let's find that 3 by 2 fixture that the engineer has made. We highlight it. 
we say OK. Now we say File Test. You'll notice now that the screen shows six positions that the part can be placed. You can click on, click off a part, add a part. So you can say exactly which ones or where the parts are being placed in the fixture. If you're going to have all six, you just say all six and all six will show. You'll also notice that the serial number will advance on its own. So if I wanted the starting serial number to be 670, you'll notice that it goes now from 670 to 675. Let's go ahead and put a uh, piece of paper down and let's mark. Press F12. And you will notice that it's marking all three parts that are in the first row. Even with different serial numbers. And now it will mark the second row. Most of our inks dry to the touch immediately upon printing, so there's no worry of smearing or operator error due to smudging. And here you can see all six parts were marked. But let's say one of the parts just didn't print correctly. All we have to do is go over to the screen, click off the parts that we do not want to mark, Make sure we have the right serial number. Press F12. And now only that part will be marked. By using the init feature of the IMS software, the software will automatically remember the next serial number to be printed and thereby help eliminate duplicate serial numbers. Well, that is a quick overview of the Ryan 4180 inkjet marking system and the IMS 5000 software. If you have any additional questions, please call your salesperson at 949-477-6161 or visit our website at www.jetec.com.